Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a halftone effect using Photopia to create a variety of pieces of artwork. And you'll see in Photopia I have already opened up a photograph of myself and I'm also going to open up a new document. So I'm going to go File and New and I'm going to create a document that is 50 pixels by 50 pixels. It's very small, um, but we need it like that. So I'm going to press Control and zero to make that nice and big on my screen so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure I've got black as my color picker. And I'm going to use the shape tool to create a circle in the middle of my piece. I'm just going to move that using the arrow tool to the middle. And then I'm going to right click on that layer and duplicate it and just drag that duplicated shape up to the corner and then I'm going to keep duplicating and fill in the other three corners as well. So just right click duplicate move it over. The um, guides help you here you'll know you have it in the right position because you'll have the red lines showing you. Okay once I've done that I'm going to right click and flatten the image so I've got everything on one layer. And I want this to be a bit blurry, so I'm going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm just going to drag that down. I don't want it too blurred, just something like this. Okay, the blur helps in the end with the halftone effect, so we do want it to be blurred. Okay, then I'm going to go to Edit, Define New and Pattern. And you'll see at the top it says Pattern Created. And that's made a pattern that I can then use out of those dots. So I'm going to go back to my original picture. I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white to turn it black and white before I do anything else. And then I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to double click on that layer. And I'm going to go to pattern overlay and I'm going to from the menu, choose that dotted pattern I've created and click OK. All right. And that means that that layer now has that pattern on it. So when I use the paint bucket, in this case using black and white, I can fill it and instead of it being solid color, it is the pattern, in this case the dots. Okay, and I'm just gonna right click and rasterize that layer style so I have those dots permanently on that layer. And then I'm going to use the drop down menu and I'm going to go to hard mix. Okay. And what that's done is it's taken those dots and it's put them onto my image. And that is essentially applying the halftone effect um, in its most basic form. But we can make it a little bit better by going to fill on that layer and going to about 50%. You'll need to maybe change that for your own photo. But I find that 50% adds a little bit more tone to the image. Um, and the other thing is I want to kind of get rid of really hard details. So back on the photo layer, I'm just going to go to filter blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to blur it by about four pixels. So not very much at all. Um, and again, it might be different for you and your photo, but it just makes the half tone effect that little bit smoother. Um, and gets rid of kind of hard details like those hairs in my beard, things like that. Okay, and that really is how to apply the halftone um, pattern. Um, but if you'd like to add some color to that, then there's different ways of doing that. I'm just going to get rid of the halftone pattern for a minute. And I want to get rid of the background on my photo. So I'm going to go to Select and Magic Cut, and this is going to allow me just to select myself. So I'm just going to use the green paint just to add back that bit of body. You see it's cut off on the right hand side there. And now I've got the magic cut just selecting myself. So I'm going to click OK and it's got rid of the background for me. OK, and it means that I can now create a new layer and I can use any color I like. In this case, I'm going to use hot pink to fill that layer. OK. And then I'm going to right click and go to clipping mask. And that's just going to put that pink on my 
um, photo of myself without the background. And it means that when I go to the drop down menu above, I can choose any of these kind of blending options and it keeps the pink on my, um, on my photo, not on the background. Okay. And it means that then I can go to create a new layer and I can um, then using any color I like, I'm going to go with a nice yellow color and click OK. I can then use the paint bucket and fill that layer with that color and it doesn't fill the photo of me. So I'm left with this nice image with two colors and of course you can change the colors to whatever you like. Um, but that is the basics really of how to add a half tone effect and you can add that to anything else like adding text um, to create images like this one. And that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.